Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the mountain. It's snowing up here. Look at this. What? The cars get. Yeah. Daily failed the first passport check. Passport check number two. We got her. Can't believe I almost forgot this. Big moves. We just made a whole bunch of decisions, none of which we're gonna tell you right now, except for that we're going to Mexico for a strike mission to drop off a bunch of surfboards, to pick up a bunch of surfboards, to say peace out to Scotty, catch some last beautiful waves in Mexico while we wrap up the last part of this Southern California sea vlog session. Took you out, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, two weeks later, she's still sitting there. I can't believe it. <laughs> this kid parked his car in this random parking lot off the freeway on some random exit two days before we went to Mexico, and this is the first time we've been back to it since. And he's not grabbing it. He's just checking on it, grabbing a few things. I can't believe it's still here two weeks later. Oh, bro, my helmet for surfing. Oh, no. Safety first. Is that it? No. Fixed. Oh yeah. Side damage. Pick two up. Drop two up. <laughs> Shout out to Bill. 35 beans to fix two boards. I mean they're just a couple small things, but find that in Cali. Good luck. That's me, Bill. Hey, thank you for stoking out the boys. and we don't have that much sunlight. So we're out there right now, and I have not seen the point working in months, and this dude's never surfed a point break, so <laughs> potentially could be one of the best sessions of his life. On and a last second trip to Mexico. But we got no long lens filmer, so we're going POV GoPro for the dream. Bring it in, Scotty. Yeah, boys. All right, the claim is, this is a whale bone. Scotty's saying that a giant whale washed up on shore right here two days ago. That's for sure a bone, dude. It's the same material as what he's got up there on his porch. That bone's bigger than my body. Look at it. Is that whale fin? That's whale fin. Oh. The gills. Dude, no way. Whoa, that's gnarly. <laughs> Bro, we're out of here.
late surf breakdown, we walked all the way over here on low tide. So now the only way to get back to where we started is to paddle. And it's a 15 minute paddle and it's so fun. It's firing so good right now that it's hard to leave. Bailey's absolutely scoring, claiming some of the best waves he's ever caught in his life, as you can hear. <laughs> and I actually started my real surfing here. I learned more surfing here in 2016 for three months than I did surfing from 2012 to 2015, the whole entire time. So you gotta love it, but you hate to leave it. Meanwhile, we're just grasping the most magical sunset for our last Mexico sunset for a while. You hate to hear that. Wow. I can't tell you how many times I've done that paddle out by myself in the dark. Officially on the chocolate dream. Alright. We just wrapped up the most ridiculous surf session ever, daily. Bro. Wasn't even supposed to come on this trip. Ended up convincing him to come just to Mexico now, and he's claiming we have to stay here tonight and surf there for sunrise tomorrow. So before we wrap this Mexico trip up proper, we gotta get the mocajete, which is why your boy's been fasting. What we're gonna show daily and just... <laughs> Overstoking on this. How can you come to Mexico for one night? Nope, you gotta stay. You gotta stay, bro. Bro, we're dreaming. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it right now for this day in Mexico. The plans for tomorrow are going to be, first of all, wake up, hopefully sunrise, and get a surf session in here. The tides can be a little bit finicky with this point break, so hopefully we can score, but after tomorrow when we wake up and surf here we're going back to O side I believe packing up the van and then potentially heading up to Tahoe because they just got their first little dusting and we got a bunch of stuff to lock in before the season starts which is coming in so so hot we also have I should announce to you guys from the East Coast who watch from Mount Snow and anywhere on the East Coast that know about the drifter pass or the Explorer pass or any of the peak passes the discount code finally went on sale today so you can use code C Willax for any of the peak passes that just finally went on sale and Mount Snow I believe is opening October at some point this year. So I don't know where I'm going to be. We might go to Australia soon. We might go to Austria. We might be in Colorado for preseason. We might be at Mount Snow. I literally don't know, but I know that the season is so close. Snow is starting to fall. We're starting to get the itch and I'm so stoked to be wrapping things up here after this amazing, amazing summer here in Southern California and Mexico. And let's get the ball rolling and let's hear where you guys are going to be. Have you guys gotten snow where you're at anywhere right now? What's good with this winter? Are you guys trying to have us come through? You already know we might be doing this tour. So there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up in the near, near future. I'm going to bed right now so we can get some solid sleep and get back out there and hopefully score tomorrow. We'll see you when we see you.